the NTUCB is clearly not so persuaded. I've suggested that they might want to take their own legal advice. And once they do that, I would certainly be prepared to look at the opinion they procure, assuming that the opinion will take a position different from the one I have taken, and I will try to be open-minded. And if there is anything in that opinion that can persuade me to change my own mind, I would be happy to do so. I want to hope that ultimately some kind of agreement can be reached. Uh, I did say to the NTUCB that it is my understanding that the other social partners on the board have the same view that I hold, that the appointment of Mr. Neal would be a conflict of interest. I asked whether they had sought to reach out to those other social partners, whether they'd sought to consult, and they said no. If my understanding is correct, I don't expect that that will necessarily change the NTUCB's position, but I hope that it would at least convince them that the view that the government is taking, the view that I am taking, is not a perverse one, is not an unreasonable one, if in fact it is shared by objective persons and objective persons that ultimately are colleagues of theirs. So that if I am not persuaded at the end of the day by any opinion that they might produce, I would hope that they would see that there is critical mass in favor of the position contrary to theirs. And ultimately, I would wish to think that they might be persuaded.